this is one of the best recipes ever in mutton for a mutton gravy uh, so definitely do try it out friends for this recipe i've taken a kg of mutton and to the mutton we will be adding a teaspoon of turmeric powder salt and pepper powder once we add all these three ingredients give it a rough mix and now i've added a tablespoon of vinegar mix it nicely and keep it aside now in another pan i've taken uh, oil now we will be shallow frying these mutton pieces wherein uh, you know it gets a light brown color after the skin of the mutton so there will be little water which the mutton leaves it so allow it to dry and give it a slight fry on all the sides by turning it over okay so the mutton is getting fried over here mutton is getting prepared over here just turn it over till it gets brown over the sides meanwhile we'll prepare the gravy i've taken four onions roughly chopped around three to four tomato these are small tomatoes since four roughly chopped in another pan preferably you can make it in a, a pressure cooker add the whole garam masala uh, to the oil so here i have used cardamom bay leaf cloves black cardamom and a cinnamon stick to this i'll be adding chopped garlic uh, i strongly feel this garlic is go going to enhance the taste of the mutton gravy so for me it is an inevitable part adding chopped garlic to it now i have added uh, the chopped onions so we have used around four onions add uh, salt as per your requirement and saute it until the onion turns brown in color saute until the onion becomes dark brown in color to it i have added around one and a half tablespoon of ginger garlic paste Saute it until the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste disappears and then add the roughly chopped tomatoes to it. Saute the tomatoes until the oil starts separating from it. Meanwhile, uh, we will also see the mutton. So now we can see uh, the water is almost getting evaporated from it. So we need this mutton to be really dry. So this is how we need to cook wherein uh, you know the mutton becomes slight goldenish brown on the sides. So this is how we need the mutton pieces to be cooked now. Now our onion tomato mixture also started leaving oil. So we'll be adding the masalas. I've added around 2 teaspoon of red chilli powder followed by a teaspoon of a turmeric powder. And I'm also using the Shakti mutton masala for this recipe. So we'll be adding around 3 tablespoons of mutton masala to this recipe. I mean to the onion tomato mixture and then we need to saute it again very well. Uh, it's basically for the raw smell to disappear. And now we will be adding the fried mutton pieces to this tomato onion mixture. Add all the... Uh, move all the mutton pieces to this onion tomato mixture give it a nice stir with the masala and the mutton pieces mix all the ingredients very well Now add a kasturi methi to it. This is a secret tip of this mutton recipe, kasturi methi. Mix it very well. And now we will be adding water to this. Add enough water until the mutton pieces are covered and allow it to cook in high flame for two whistles. And later we will be cooking it for another seven to eight whistles in low flame. Before we start cooking it in the pressure cooker, ensure to add salt as per your taste. Now the mutton is cooked. Now add fresh cream which is the last secret ingredient for this recipe. Give it a nice stir and once it starts boiling, 
our yummy mutton gravy is ready so if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and do try it out at your home and let me know in the comment section thanks for watching